A flower for the lovely lady. All right, walks on over, gives her a flower. They're all laughing, ties his shoe, takes the flower back. <laughs> I mean, that's a good prank. I like that prank. No one got hurt, no one is injured, was just genuinely funny. I like that all of them are just completely on board and laughing along. This, this video has a pure vibe and I am all about that. Sometimes it's not so pure, but this time, Pure out of 10, Pureness 100. Hello everybody and welcome to Calbis. My name is Lumo and today we're looking at r slash unexpected. A subreddit dedicated to things you just wouldn't expect. Let's just get right into it. It doesn't disappoint. Spot the drawing, okay. Uh, none? I'm convinced it's none. I was correct. Wait, the drawing was the notebook. <laughs> the video had to finish for me to piece that together. The video was the notebook. That's actually like, that's clever. That's really well done. That's a jape, a jape out of 10. Amazing. Hey guys, uh, my name is Ryan and today I'm going to attempt the world record for the fastest time to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'm concerned. Here we go. I feel concerned. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> what? That was vile and honestly respectable. That that's a talent. That's a talent right there. That was that was room temperature jelly just ready to be spread. That I I would I would deem that the world record. Yo, could you do that even faster if you warmed up the peanut butter beforehand and put it in your mouth and just kind of separated your mouth with your tongue so they didn't mix? And does it doesn't matter if they mix. What are the what are the rules on the PB and J world record? Guinness, get back to me. I need to know if I need to start shoving. I need to know if I need to start shoving peanut butter and jelly in my mouth for the sake of internet fame. I don't know how to caption this. This is concerning. It looks like a CW show. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> and now it's exactly like a CW show. I don't know what it is with the posts today, but these are absolute fire. I am loving this. I am loving this. Also, how do you just get on a shipping yard like that? I never get to, like, I never get let in when I try and go and look at them. Why do I want to look at them? They're neat environments and I'm an environment artist, but man, that, ah, oh, it's so goofy. Double whammy. Okay, these two guys eating what appear to be soft hut pockets and squirting each other with the hut pocket insides. That is just, that's vile. Why would you make milk bags? Why would you make milk bags? Who would allow you to make milk bags? Is it more organic? Does it take you back to the yesteryears of drinking the milk fresh from the source? Like, I don't understand. That poor man got just double creamed. He got double creamed. Oh, that's useful. Okay. Oh, Phelps razor that appears to just, oh, well, well now, that is a Beyblade launcher. That is a, I feel like you definitely could get some use out of that. You no longer have to let it rip. You've got a motor to do it for you. You are not just ripping. You are also tearing my friend. <laughs> Autonomous death top. Just, uh, it just kills. It just, it goes for the hair, then the jugular. Autonomous death top. Someone get it on boss fights. I'm too lazy to post it there. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Yo, anybody home? Oh. Hello. Hello. Is that a goat? Yeah, it's a goat. Nope, don't let the, oh. I don't like goats. Goats are bastards. I have never met a goat I like. Every goat that I have met has headbutted me in a very sensitive area. I do not like goats. And the fact that this one is outside my house, looking at me, begging me to return the slab, not a fan. I can't say as though my opinion has improved at all. That is, there, people are like, it's a lamb chuggo. They have nubs as ears and are sweet as heck. I doubt that. I doubt that to an extreme measure. The best dancer in the world. Honey, I gotta know, how do you feel that I'm taller than you? 
Oh my height went to my cock. <laughs> I'm not sure how this is unexpected. It's just Michael Reeves. <laughs> that man is like an engineer mixed with a crack addict. Like it's he he's not. He, I don't think he's real. I'm convinced he's a plant or something. He's too perfect at what he does. All of his content is literally, it feels like a fever dream. He and w William Osman, I'm convinced, learned engineering to violently shitpost. And you know what? Respectable, and I wish I was doing the same. I'm doing it with programming. <laughs> when animals attack, I'm concerned. Caught on camera. Oh, that doggo looks so disturbed. Oh, oh, he's hugging. Oh, he's hugging now. No, I don't know. I don't know where that was going. That dog had a look in its face. I'm concerned. Top comment. What are you doing, step dog? Get, get out of my life. Get out of my life. Get out of my life. Oh, man. I, I don't, I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. That's so cursed. Throw a puss. Okay. Um. Okay, throw in the chair. What's gonna happen? Chair pops open and lands! <laughs> That's amazing. I wish that all deploy outs of lawn chairs could go that smoothly. I wish I could just javelin toss my lawn chair to have it open because javelin tossing will just take less effort overall than opening it normally. I'm not sure about you guys, but lawn chairs are very stubborn and never want to open. That's a science fact. But also, I kind of just want to javelin throw lawn chairs now. That sounds fun. Simple art, but beautiful. Okay, drawing a circle. You're gonna draw the rest of the owl? Two circles. Now it's time for the rest of the owl. OGC. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I saw a post that was like, I don't. I never understood Renaissance art until the pandemic started. And now I understand fully living at home with my titty out. This has the same energy. The lengths we go to when we're bored and trapped inside. <laughs> the reason why men live less. Boink. You missed. Now you have to go to firing squad. You missed. Now you have to go to firing squad. Do not miss. You are going to firing squad. One of you has to get it. Nope. To firing squad with ye. <laughs> That's so incredibly stupid, but I love it. There is a, what's it called? There's an old skit that my parents used to watch from Jeff Foxworthy that I think sums up like the brothership well, if that, if that makes sense of. When you smell something awful, the first thing you do is call someone over to take a courtesy sniff. So it's like, you take out your gym bag, it smells terrible, and you're like, God, this smells awful. Hey, yo, Frank, get over here. Like, it, it's this has that same energy of, we're gonna get the boy. How are we gonna get the boy? We're gonna hit him with a watermelon. All right, I'm in, he'd do it to us, we'll do it to him. <laughs> like, the never-ending cycle of, this is a terrible idea, let us share in it together. On today's episode. All right. Oh, oh. <laughs> No. Yesterday. <laughs> I don't know why I feel so bad every time I see it, but reporters getting hit by stop signs is such a common thing that it, it, just, it just always gets me. It just always gets me and I feel bad because they might, they probably got hurt. That's a solid metal sign that's like 10 feet tall, but God, God, every time. Snatching the gun, gone wrong. All right, a disarm, nope, can't disarm. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Yeah, that 
<laughs> this gets his neck. Like, that was a clean swipe for the jugular. She's trying to commit fratricide. Run. And that's all the time we have here today on Calibus. If you like this, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, maybe share this with a friend who could use a reminder that the child is out to kill you. If you do want more r slash unexpected, there'll be another one popping up on your screen in just a couple of seconds. But until then, my name has been Lumo, and I hope to see you in the very next Calibus video. Have a great rest of your day. <laughs> <laughs>